Wow. Okay. All right, Lawlers. Today's class is going to be all about the basics for camera control. This directly impacts how you play the game in terms of the vision that you have around your character and around the map. So off the top, we're just going to cover off some of the hot keys and the abilities that you have to control your camera. And then we'll talk a little bit more about how you actually want to go about using camera control in your gameplay to become a better player. So off the top, at the bottom right of your screen, you have a toggle option here, which is lock camera or unlock camera. So if I click to lock this camera, that's when the line is through it. As I move my character around, my field of view in the game is going to stay basically fixed around my character with me always at the center of it. Okay, if I toggle that off and unlock it, that field of view remains fixed unless I move it. My character movement within that field does not affect my view. It only changes if I take my cursor and bump it into the sides of the map, up, down, left, right, then it moves that field of vision. Okay. The other way you can move that field of vision is by left clicking on the mini map that takes you to the different lanes. Okay. So on top of this camera unlock lock toggle that you have at your disposal and that left clicking of your mouse to move to different areas of the mini map you also have some f keys that you have at your disposal too so by default i believe for most of you unless you've already adjusted your settings these f keys are tied to the enemy or sorry the ally champions on your team so for example, right now, if I press F2 on my keyboard, that is going to quickly bring my field of vision to the bot lane Kale. If I press F3, it's going to quickly bring my field of vision to top lane with Lux. If I press F1, that's always tied to me, so it brings it back to myself here in the mid lane. Okay? You can also press spacebar to bring the field of view back to your character at all times. Okay? So space key brings it back, space key brings it back. Okay, if I wanted to again quickly see how my bot or top lane are doing, I can press the F key. Okay, I see my Kale's getting destroyed by Garen, and I press F3, I see my Lux is doing an okay job against that Vladimir. Alright, so that is really the meat and potatoes, all the basics you need to understand about camera control. Now we're going to get into the good stuff and really talk about why it's important to play a certain way with that camera control. Okay, as we eat a bunch of autos from this press the attack uh, Ash mid lane. Okay, so off the top, I'm just going to say you should all be playing with unlocked camera. If you're not playing with unlocked camera already, you need to build this into your gameplay. Vision is information and information is everything in League of Legends. All right, I know that all of you want to think that your micro play is godly and that's what's going to give you the ability to always win games. It's really a lot more macro than that in League of Legends and vision is one of the building blocks and fundamentals of being able to consistently play well. Okay, so you can see right now as I play this lane, I'm unlocked camera and I always have myself at the bottom left of the screen and the ash at the bottom or at the top right. Okay, this will obviously uh, mirror backwards if I was playing the top side of the map and the Ash was playing bot side, okay? Now the reason it's important to have unlocked camera and keep the camera set up like this so that I have myself at the bottom left and more vision on the top right where the Ash is, is because as I'm laning in the early game, it's really important that I know what's going on with these minion waves and what's going on with the Ash. And if there's anybody coming from top side river to gank me or bot side river to gank me. So you can see now as I'm auto attacking this wave, I have the camera positioned in such a way where really I have good vision of the top side jungle and the bot side jungle, or sorry, excuse me, the rivers, so I know if anyone's coming, okay? Now, if I want to back, for example, here, Again, another reason why unlock camera is better. Again, I'm keeping both of us in the corners of the screen. As I come back to my turret now and press my back button, I can bump that camera up and see what's going on with the ash. I can check the minion waves. I could see if there's a jungler that's going to come help her clear that wave or not, right? So really, really important to play unlock camera in lane for those reasons. Now, the other important aspect of, of the unlock camera that you need to understand in the early game is it gives you the ability to not waste vision on what I'll call a safe space. So if the camera's locked, I always have about half of my vision behind me in the safe space area, okay? The reason it's safe space is because early on I have a turret 
and likely, especially in low-level games, no one is going to gank me from behind myself in this turret. So I'm just wasting vision right now. You can see if I keep the vision centered to me here, I see a lot of what's going on behind me, but not a lot of what's going on. I can't even see Ash right now. I don't know what she's doing. But if I unlock the camera and bump it up here, now I can see her, what ability she's using on the wave, and I can still see myself so I can go in for some of these trades. Okay, so here we're going to go in for a trade on this Ash now. I'm going to bump the camera up and try and kill her, okay? Now, once we get this kill here, there we go, one more auto. As a mid laner generally, you want to always shove waves and then roam, right? Part of playing mid laner is roaming and getting roam kills and assassinations. So playing with an unlocked camera now gives me the ability to, as I run bot lane, for example, I can left click the mini map and get an idea of what's going on. This gives me vital information. Does Garen use his ult on Kale here? Does he use his spin? Does he use flash? That's all important for me to know. So you can see this whole time that I've been running down, I've kept my vision on Garen so I know what's going on with this guy, right? I don't even know if we win this. If he spikes six, he's going to beat us here. Ah, Garen, no! Okay, good. I had to focus on that one there a little bit. That guy is tanky. Okay, so that's another really important reason, especially as a mid laner, to build in this unlocked camera into your gameplay so that you can see what's going on in the lane that you're about to gank before you get there. Okay, now I'm going to back here. Again, as I'm backing, I can left click on the mini map and get an idea of what Ash is using in lane here. I don't just want to see my character backing. There's no point in me watching that animation, okay? So we've got some information on Ash. She shoved up. As I run back to lane, I'm going to, again, left click on the mini map and get vision of this Ash. I can also click my F keys and get a quick understanding of what's going on with my laners. So Lux is running back to lane. Kale's fighting in the bot lane with Garen, okay? Doing this every so often in between waves or while you're moving around the map just gives you more information as a mid laner and as a player in general, which is important because if you're going to get kills and carry, you need information. You need to know which lanes are gankable, who's close to dying, who's at half health, right? These are all important factors. So we're in the mid lane here. Again, you can see I have my camera a little bit toggled up towards the top side of the map with with uh, Ash in it. I don't really care to see what's behind me in these fights, right? And then I kill her now and I go for a roam. Now, which lane do I roam? Press F2. No, nope, she died. She's running back to base. Press F3. Okay, she's there, but I don't see the enemy characters. Again, the other way you could do this is by left clicking the mini map. So I see Vlad's in lane on the mini map. I left clicked it. I see that he's at, you know, below half health. That's very gankable. I'm already running up now to try and gank this guy. Okay, so I'm keeping my vision here because I want to see what spells and abilities with Vlad. Does he use W before I get there, right? I don't want to waste my R if he has W up still. See, there's his W. Right? So that's important, right? We still missed our R because he W'd there, but it would have been really good for me to know if he uses his W before or not. That time it didn't matter, but in, you know, one out of 10 circumstances, it might, and you want to make sure you still take advantage of that. So as I'm running back to mid, I camera forward, I see Ash, here we go, and then we try and all in her here as well, okay? Perfect. So we're going to shove this wave out now. And again, we're going to use our camera controls here and get an idea of what's going on around the map so that we know if we want to gank, if we know if we want to back. So I press F2, Garen's low, I press F3, nobody's top lane, I'm going to run bot now. This looks like a good opportunity before I back to actually maybe get another kill here. So I'm going to keep my vision on Garen as I run down. I can bump the cursor into the sides of the screen to adjust that vision, and I'm going to see if I can find him. Okay, still don't see him. Here he is again. So we're going to run into him here. Trying to hit him with both parts of our W, obviously, and then kill him. So guys, that quickly sums up kind of everything you want to do with the camera as a beginner and build into your gameplay. The toughest part, I think, for people who haven't even unlocked the camera is just going to be learning that movement with the camera bumps in between each right click for movement. That's the best way I think you can do that. And then if you're already playing unlocked camera, but you want to kind of tighten up your camera fundamentals as well, I would really look to build in those F keys to quickly check what's going on in the map 
and your left clicks of the cursor on the minimap to again quickly check in between each wave, in between each back, whatever you want to build in, just start checking other areas of the map in between your gameplay so you know what's going on. Okay, so walking back to lane is a great time to quickly check the other lanes with your F keys or with your left clicks. Okay, guys, that sums it up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will catch you in the next class.